Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and welcome to my Battlefield 3 weapon review series. Today's weapon that we're going to be looking at is the AN-94, which I'm assuming a lot of players really don't think is a very good weapon. It's not very powerful. I don't really see a lot of players as using it on the battlefield, and I wanted to make this video to kind of change people's pers perspective on this weapon, because in my opinion, this is one of the strongest weapons in the game, and hopefully this video will kind of explain why. So to get some of the basics out of the way, this weapon has the standard damage, which is 25 damage at short range, or 1 to 10 meters, and then that damage starts to drop off until you reach 50 meters, where it's 17 damage a shot. Really nothing, nothing different there for any of the assault rifles. It also holds the standard 30 rounds in its magazine, or 31 if you have a bolt in the chamber. And as for its reload time, this is also very standard, it, or average. It has a reload time of 2.6 seconds if you have a bolt in the chamber, or 3.5 if you used all of your ammunition and you had to uh, automatically reload. Uh, as for the weapon's recoil, I have placed a picture on the video that will hopefully help us understand it a little bit better. The higher the number, the more likely the weapon is going to recoil in that direction. And as you can see here, the AN-94 has is most likely going to recoil vertically or slightly to the right. And I find that because this weapon is a burst fire weapon right out of the gate, unless you change the, the fire mode, it's a highly accurate and it's it's kind of like a laser beam. And as long as you can manage the, hor or the vertical recoil, uh, this weapon is extremely accurate, and it's 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 great at long range, close range. If you go for a a headshot at up close, because it does 25 damage a shot, and headshots do have a two times multiplier, uh, just getting that one burst off into someone's dome piece is going to get you a instant kill. Uh, so even though that this weapon is highly accurate, I know a lot of players are kind of turned off by this weapon because of its iron sights. And many of you wanted me to show the iron sights for the weapons in my weapon review, and so I'm going to be doing that later in the video. You'll, you'll, you'll see, I think, one or two clips of me actually using the iron sights. And really the only way for me to get kills while using the iron sights is to use the spotting, you know, spot my enemy and then follow the red triangle and use that to take them out. I find it extremely difficult to track them if I don't have them spotted, and this can make it really frustrating when you know you, sh you should be getting the kills, but because you just cannot stay on target because you have no idea where the enemy even is because they're not spotted, it can be very frustrating. So if you are trying to use this weapon and you're not spotting the enemy, I would I would always go for the spot first and then try lining up your shot and taking them out. I, it's gonna make it's gonna make the weapon much more enjoyable to try to get to the to the higher attachment unlocks such as the red dot sight or the ACOG scope or something along those lines. But until then, you're, it's it's like I said, it's really frustrating. Make sure you're spotting your enemy and doing your best to, to try to track that red triangle. I know it's kind of cheesy because no one likes to you know track triangles. It's like what am I what am I playing a first person shooter or some arcade game? But it really is one of the best ways to get the the later unlocks. Uh, so once you actually start getting kills with this weapon and you start getting some attachments, the ones that I would recommend is the heavy barrel because this weapon does so well at long range and the heavy the heavy barrel is just going to increase that capability. Also using the foregrip because the foregrip is really just the best attachment for that slot. And as for the scopes, I, it really is up to you. I personally really don't like using the higher optic zooms. I don't like using the ACOG. I'm always going for the red dot sights or maybe the holographic scopes. The reason why, it's because it's just mostly personal preference. Even if you are using the red dot sight, you can still get shots from a far distance, and I can still get headshots from across the map. Or not really across the map, but you guys know what I mean. But if you really do prefer uh, higher optic zoom scopes, then this is the perfect weapon for you, and you're going to get a lot of kills from long range. So this is a very great weapon at medium to long range engagements, and it really does excel in those situations. Uh, so one final note is the fact that this weapon does have the three fire modes, which is full auto, burst, and single fire. So it really does excel in all situations. If you are in close quarter engagements, you can go to the full auto. If you really need to be extremely accurate, you can also go for the single shot. So all around a solid weapon. Uh, but this about wraps up the video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully this video kind of changed your perspective on the AN-94. I really enjoy this weapon, and hopefully you guys will try it out as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it give it a rating and also if you'd like to see more videos from me i recommend that you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on twitter but until next time guys have a good one and take it easy